So if you ain't aware of this Moon Veil Kitana, it is one of the best. If you are aware of it and you have it, you will know how good it is. If you're aware of it but can't get it, you know how hard the boss can be. Well today guys, I bring you this easy exploit which allows you to kill this boss with minimal work and get this katana. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this katana is incredible. It does however require 12 points in strength, 18 in dexterity and 23 in intellect if you want to use it. Now I don't have those attributes but thanks to my pal Eric's Gaming, whose channel can be found linked below, he allowed me to use his footage of this thing in action. So do check him out and show him some love. So this katana as you can see on screen now has this special move of transient moonlight and as you can see this thing looks incredible. So this weapon drops from a boss called Magma Worm, who I will state for the average Joe like me, he is pretty difficult. Without this exploit I wouldn't have beat him this early on. So what you need to do to beat this dude pretty easily is get the Rotten Straight Ashes Spirit Summon. Where if you don't have this yet you'll see the location to this on screen now. It's from the Sarilea under stair, uh, so come here where I am on the map right here guys and follow where I go. Now I've already picked this up but it should be there for you. Now if I were you, I'd upgrade this as much as you can, using runes and the grave glow wart via Rodrika via the table of lost grace, bottom left of your map. So upgrade this as best you can guys, and once you are set up, this is how it works. The rotten stray summon causes scarlet rot upon its enemies, which slowly poisons them. So if a boss or enemy is susceptible to this rot, this poison will indeed just keep draining their health down, even after the spirit is long gone. The effects stay intact and will continue to deplete that enemy's health. Great thing about this is guys, this boss, the magma worm, is susceptible, meaning if you use this within the fight and it does enough damage to the boss, you actually don't really have to do anything besides keep the boss at a distance and it will take care of itself. This is how I did it after ages of trying and failing and it basically worked for me after my second try. So to get to this Magna Worm boss you need to come to the uh, Gale Tunnel as you can see on the map right here. Now travel down this tunnel to the very bottom activating the graces on your way down. Now you can take the enemies out if you want to or run straight past them, it's up to you. Now this boss fight is located at the very bottom but there's also a grace just left of the entrance to this fight through another door so make sure you activate that before starting this encounter. Then guys as soon as you enter this fight summon your rotten stray spirit. Now if you can grab the attention of the boss so your summon can get to work, it's going to be more efficient and work better for you. So try it as best you can to get the attention so your summon can do enough damage to uh, get that rot to kick in. You will know it has when it starts to slowly deplete the boss itself by itself. Then guys all you gotta do is avoid the boss as best you can. Make sure you ain't too heavy as it will be a little difficult to dodge. But just keep your distance guys and the boss will eventually die and you will be rewarded the salute guys, the amazing Moon Veil Kitana. And while there we have it people, the simple way in getting the Moon Veil Kitana for those struggling with this fight. And well, I hope the video helps you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.